I don't even know what to call this game. I mean, it's, uh, the title's Clash of Elementalists, but I guess I just don't know how to describe it. I mean, it's, obviously it's a fighter, but it's a fighter where the characters are all these really, really ridiculously good-looking male models. Because I got news for you. None of them can turn left. Anyway, call it what you will, but Clash of Elementalists just released for both the Nintendo 3DS and DSi. You can find it in the eShop and on DSiWare. And again, it's a fighting game, but it's kind of a strange one. In fact, it, it feels like something I would have played on the Nintendo 64, both in a good way and a, a bad way. So Clash of Elementalists puts you in the middle of a, uh, well, a Clash of Elementalists. Actually, it's, it's more of a dispute than anything else. Because there's only freaking four of them! Anyway, each elementalist is an anime girl. Funny how that works out. And of course, each one uses a different element. Either fire, earth, air, or water. A good camera is not an element, so no one uses one of those. The weird thing for me is that, I mean, this is a 3D fighter, the fights take place in these open arenas, but you don't really have control of the camera. In fact, the camera doesn't move at all. It's not automatic, it doesn't follow your opponent. Uh, the only way to focus on your target is to do it manually, by pushing a button. And then they move again. So, uh, you get into this clunky rhythm that, again, feels like something from the N64 era. Constantly positioning the camera before doing anything else. It's, it's been almost 20 years since games went 3D. Being able to see these three-dimensional worlds should not be a problem anymore. Unfortunately, that N64 feel is also part of the charm. See, this is actually a really simple fighter. You have two attacks, you can combine them for a more powerful attack, it's a real throwback to older fighting games. Simple approach, but with a bit of strategy as well. Using the right attacks at the right time is crucial, as is managing your attack power, which drains with each flurry of offense. But you know, the, the fun this game offers is almost in spite of itself. I mean, the camera's only the beginning. Even the controls are just really weird. I mean, A, B, and Y are used sparsely, if at all, and yet you attack with the shoulder buttons. On the one hand, this is a $5 downloadable fighter with an old-school feel. On the other, a low price doesn't excuse the bad design decisions. Clash of Elementalists isn't a bad game at all, but well, its awkward controls and camera do everything they can to convince you otherwise.